Hey guys, hey, how do you like my haircut? <laughs> oh, I know, huh? No, I really didn't cut my hair. But um, this is actually an old wig, not a new wig. But I was, I had decided it would be kind of fun to do a video to revisit some of the shorter wigs that I have because I've got quite a few. So I was filming that and I figured, well, I'll just leave this on for this intro because this is sort of an intro into my vlog of this past week which I never really had an intro I just sort of like did all these little clips of my whole week so I thought it'd be good to really have an intro anyways um, before I forget because I was I, I always want to try to mention this because today what I'm wearing on my face is my CYO 106 and this is unmixed with anything. This is just the CYO without any mixture at all. And I think it looks pretty good. I do have some blush on. I do have my eye, um, my eyeshadow on. Um, I'm wearing the Vasey Art palette that I got for my birthday from Marlene Fab and Glam. And oh, I'll show them to you. I have it in my Z palette because I had taken it out. Anyways. Yeah. Oh should have done that so anyways it's these shades right here that I have on and this is in the crease and this is in the outer V and oh and this I put on my movable lid so it's this this and this and then of course before I even started I used my um, what is this wet and wild brulee and I that's sort of my all-over shade that is my favorite you can see I've hit pan <laughs> I kind of I've got every time I go in the store I look for it I cannot find it I can't find it in Target I can't find it in Walmart I can't find it anyway so I'm probably gonna have to go online because that the brulee is the best all-over lid shade for me and it has hardly any fallout whereas even my my Viseade or any other uh, shadow that I'm that I try to do for an all-over look it has a little bit more fallout I just don't really quite like it so all over I have this then I have the middle brown this one um, that I did in my crease and then the darker one that I did in my outer V and then this one I topped over for glitter and, um, and that's what I have on my eyes oh aside from my eyeliner so that's what I have to remember to tell you guys is this because I've been playing around with the with the CYO foundation and I want to make sure that I tell you all that. The other thing I want to tell you and I'm going to have a little bit of a clip because I finally unboxed my Irresistible Me hair extensions that I got. I got a full set. They had sent this to me. This was human hair. This is such a great match for my hair. I can't wait to really try it because it's it's longer you know they I wanted a 14 inch but they had they had run out of that so they sent me a 16 inch and the 16 inch is like way long so I'm going to cut it to my hair length but I'm afraid to cut it so I've been really hesitant so what I've been doing is playing with the clips it's a full set so I have like seven different pieces it's like amazing I, I'm not gonna talk too much about it but you I just want you to see the color match because I'm so happy about the color match I'm gonna, oh and the irresistible me hair extension they were sent to me complimentary from the company and they had reached out to me months ago and I said sure after a lot of hesitation because I've never had hair extensions and I'm like thinking I don't really know how to use them I don't know what am I gonna do with hair extensions how am I gonna apply them so finally I said okay I'll do it and they sent it to me and, and sitting there for two months I think I showed you guys in one of my videos when I first got it and then I didn't do, it didn't do anything else with it because I was like really afraid so I took them out they match my hair my natural hair beautifully and I've been playing with them I got them to the point where I can put them in I haven't cut them yet so I'm gonna put together a video on that because I was really excited about that it was like I didn't know how it would work I didn't know if they would stay in my hair because my hair is so fine so I was pleasantly surprised the other thing I, I want to mention too is this quick curl by Blow Pro. 
Now I have several Blow Pro products. I have a hair dryer they sent me in the past. I have a curling iron, a beachy wave iron. I really like all of those. But this is the Blow Pro brush set. It has five medium barrels, one universal handle. And the premise behind this is to get volume. It's a volume boost. This was actually sent to me complimentary from Blow Pro via the Octoly Network in exchange for a review. And then this barrel will turn a different color when it's ready, but you actually put it in your hair, but you release it and then you have another one. So there's like all these different barrels. Now I'm kind of concerned because my hair is short and these are pretty thick barrels, but I'm going to give it a try on the top part of my hair because from everything I've read and seen, while it might seem a little bit um, complicated or cumbersome in a way to have all these different barrels, I think once you get into a routine of it and you let it dry, not dry, but you let it cool on your hair, it is supposed to boost your volume. So I have the, the base, the five brush heads, and it also came with some spray. It also came with the carrying bag. So it came with a whole bunch of stuff. This is just a first look at it. I'm going to see if I can make it work for my short hair. I might not be able to really make it work for my short hair. I don't know. So anyways, on my head, this is one of my older original uni wigs. Uni wigs had reached out to me, I think maybe this is about a year and a half, maybe even two years now, I'm not too sure. But they had reached out to me a while back and had, they were actually the first wig company that reached out to me and offered me um, the option of reviewing a wig and I thought, well, why not, right? So they had sent me this and they sent me a few others that I have reviewed over the period of time. And I just thought it'd be really fun to kind of put one on my head again and do a sort of a video compilation of all the short wig styles that I have. So that video is up and coming. But now let me just tell you about my week. When I last, when it, my, in my last vlog, I think I think I might have mentioned that that Saturday we were going to be working all day Saturday for the all day state review and and Jay and I together and then that night was the full moon and so we were going to do full moon chasing so if you don't know it by now Jay and I love chasing the full moon it's like really a fun thing that we do so we went to a little restaurant very in the next town over from us in Kingston, New Hampshire that is on the water and the restaurant, um, we, we were able to get outside seating on the deck and the restaurant's only open seasonally so it's only in the summer season, spring and summer. So we sat on the deck and we ordered fried food. I was really bad. I had a fried clam and scallop plate with sweet potato fries and coleslaw and, uh, and Jay had just fried clams so we had that we sat there and we enjoyed our meal it was beautiful on the on the deck overlooking the water and then when we had done that we took we took off in the car and we were our goal was to go to the beach but it was a beautiful Saturday so we didn't know how crowded everything was going to be so rather than go to Hampton we thought we'd go further up on the beach so we stopped in this little spot Northside Park in Hampton and this is this is just a beautiful, beautiful spot. Now, this is one of my favorite places. The problem with this is that it is really private. So, you you know, we can't sit there and enjoy the day unless you live there. But we can sit there and we can park and we can walk around and sneak in and, and act like we belong. So, uh, Jay took a couple of video clips. <laughs> and then when we were done there, we continued on to this little spot on the side of the road up by Rye and um, up by the Wentworth by the sea and I just took this one clip of Jay standing next to this, this beware of golf ball signs <laughs> and he kind of faked he got hit on the head he really didn't get hit on the head but it's beautiful views and then from there we continued on to Great Island Common I'm going to insert the clips here for you to see Great Island Common in Newcastle, New Hampshire. Jay and I go here often, not only to watch the moon rise, but we've also, in the wintertime, taken holiday photos here. And it's just a really pretty, pretty, pretty spot in New Hampshire. Very, very popular little location. You feel like you're a little puny camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. A baby camera compared to all those cameras. <laughs> Where's it coming out with your baby camera? to the right of the, or right behind the lighthouse. So Jay is down there waiting for the full moon to rise and I'm a little cold. So I'm going back to the car. I'm up with, I'm not dressed for like, it was like 75. 
this afternoon and now it's like 60. <laughs> it's cold. So I walked down the AJ said it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I said, okay, I'll go back up to the car. 10 minutes is a long time to wait when you're cold. And the moon was going to rise straight over there behind Whaleback Lighthouse. Can you see it? As I'm zooming in closer, I hope you can see it. My camera does not do it justice because I didn't have a really good zoom. And the moon actually was rather muted that night. There was a ton of photographers all in the general same spot as we were. And many of them had amazing, amazing equipment. And I've seen some of the photos that they've posted online afterwards. And knowing that we were right in the same spot as them, I realized that Jay's photos and my photos, the moon was what it was that night. And while it was beautiful and majestic to see it rising over the ocean like that, it wasn't the most vibrant at that point in time because it was still light. So this was around 8 o'clock and, you know, it was dusk, but it was still light. And um, now I'm zooming back a little bit by the ground. And one thing that we noticed, and you're going to see it in a little bit, is this big, huge groundhog in the rocks in front of us. I'm not a fan of groundhogs because they are all over my property and they dig tunnels and, and they can really cause some damage. But the groundhog wasn't at all afraid of us. So the groundhog was just popping out of those rocks while all the photographers were just standing around <laughs> taking pictures and there I was taking a video. And poor Jay, he felt a little bit, you know, like he had a small little tripod and he had his camera, which is a really nice, it's a Canon 70D, but compared to the lenses and the serious camera gear the people around us had, we looked like we were just a bunch of little plain amount toy <laughs> or something. It's kind of funny. It's amusing. Now watch carefully. That groundhog, he's there somewhere. He's going to peep out. Really, I was not too thrilled about seeing him, but it's kind of cool to catch nature at its best, so to speak. And I'm still trying to grab a better shot of the lighthouse. And as you can see, the moon just kind of like goes behind it and then eventually goes up behind the cloud. The clouds cover it a little bit and you can't really see it that well. But it's beautiful. It's amazing, no matter what. And this is just a shot of the tree and the benches. This is in Great Island Common up in Newcastle, New Hampshire. Some people consider this parts of Portsmouth, but Newcastle is a beautiful little tiny, very exclusive town right before you get to Portsmouth. Property prices are astronomical here, but this park is really cool, Great Island Common. In season, you do have to pay to enter, but off season before Memorial Day, you can still get in for free. Picnic areas, benches, and beautiful views. And there's actually a sandy beach as well. And here comes that little stinker. Where is he? There you see him. That little stinker. Mr. Groundhog. Mm-hmm. There he is. And I think I had fun trying to film him while I was trying to film the moon, too. Oh, the things we do for amusement. But what a beautiful date night Jay and I had. Just absolutely gorgeous home and then of course the rest of the week was sort of uneventful but the big highlight of our week this week was the fact that we were going to be doing our Verani Care Seacoast sea comedy night and the proceeds of this comedy night everything is pretty well donated by by everyone and our Seacoast branch they work like all get out to pull this off. But so we are off to the comedy event the misters are driving and this is the charity event that our company does. It's for Ronnie Cares, which benefits the Veterans Cares. Is it Veterans Care? I don't know. Hmm. I wasn't going, so I didn't pay much attention to it. Yeah, he's a last minute date replacement. Yeah, her other date couldn't make it. My other date couldn't make me. I was going to have a girls' night out with a high school buddy of mine that went with me last year. And then. Uh, Jay had to postpone his class for tonight due to the enrollment and so then he had a free night and so she was having an issue with her mom and couldn't make it anyway so here I am here he is 
Mr. McGillicuddy. So we're going to the sea glass up at the beach. We're probably going to go in to the restaurant and try to get a uh, table in the lounge or a you know, seat at the, at the bar and um, they have uh, taco margarita nights, right? Seafood yeah, tacos and seafood margarita. Tacos, yeah. And then the doors open for the event at 6.30. So, yeah, so we're heading out there now. It's 4.30. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Should be a fun event, right? What do you think, honey? I think it's going to be a real good time. Looking forward to it, huh? Yeah. I'm happy because I have a designated driver. Yeah. <laughs> designated driver! But this year, the we exceed. Last year, we raised twenty thousand dollars for veterans. Purely twenty thousand dollars, all goes to the veterans. So our goal was to beat that this year. This is some pictures of the event. Jay and I, we had a little bit of a dinner before we went into the event in the Sea Glass restaurant, and then we went over to the event. You can see some of the pictures, and then the clip of the finale. I'm gonna interrupt before everybody leaves because I know these people who are silent auction will wait. But I wanted to thank everybody tonight. Um, this this night was even more than we expected. Last year we won, we raised twenty thousand for our veterans count. I just did the numbers in the back. We raised thirty thousand dollars. So I'm telling you, amazing, amazing, amazing job by my Seacoast office. There was like, Exeter and Portsmouth, the Seacoast region, they raised and got all these things donated and raffles and they did amazing, amazing job. $30,000 raised for veterans. Unreal. So I mean, I was like so, so super excited. So I know this is kind of like a kind of funky, I'm going to train this hair to sit off my head a little bit. You know, if you can, you can put clips in here and you can actually train the, your hair to, to stay off. <laughs> but anyways, um, did I tell you what this is? This is Liz in Almond Frost and this is by Uniwigs. So I'm going to turn around just so you can see what it looks like in the back. Just a short, perfect for the summer kind of a kind of a do. Just a short little wig. Spray this a little bit with some dry shampoo, and that takes away some of the shine. This this is a short style that has a lot of permatease in it, but it, you want that because you want to have some fullness in something like this. You don't want this to really be flat on your head. I think it looks pretty good. So I don't know when this is going to go live. Um, I am recording this part of it on late on Memorial Day weekend. We did not get to go camping. We are going to try to take a day trip. We've got a bunch of different things to do. We would have loved to have gone camping, but you know, as usual, the Miguel Cuddies, we were just too late didn't make our reservations and just couldn't get in. So um, we've, got a, we've got a bunch of different things that we're gonna do this weekend, but we're probably gonna try to do a day trip. We were talking about it a little bit ago, like where, do, where would we like to go? And we're thinking it would be nice to get down to Cape Cod, but the traffic down at Cape Cod can be crazy. So, uh, especially Memorial Day weekend. So the Cape is gonna have to wait for another weekend for us. So uh, I said to Jay, so maybe we'll just go up to Freeport. Why don't we just go up to Freeport, walk around L.L. Bean, do, you know, do the shops, and then have lunch. We have a little tavern we always go to and have lunch, and then just kind of beat around and do that. Or maybe go to York Harbor and walk all around York Harbor and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of different things we can do for a day trip. So anyways... That's it for me. I know it's been so this is kind of a disjointed vlog. <laughs> but hey, I'm just sharing. And oh, I wanted to I just wanted to thank you all because my last video on the CYO Foundation, I was really kind of worried about that because I did all my swatches swatches on my arm and I thought, you know, I'm not like I was just like globbering the makeup on and I had written in eyeliner the number and all that. I'm not like a I was not really professional and when I looked at those those still pictures and I looked at the little video clip with all the colors on my arm, I almost didn't add it because I thought it kinda looked so, you know, chinsy in a way or you know, not professional. But then I said, you know what? I'm sure it'll help someone out, and I think it did, and your feedback and your comments, even though we're so hesitant because it wasn't a perfect picture, 
not that any of mine are, but you know what I mean? I was like really hesitant about adding it because it, I felt like out of my element doing the swatches, but I think it helped a lot of you out. So I thank you, thank you all for that awesome feedback that you all gave me. I truly appreciate it. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. I, I know when people say please subscribe, nobody ever does. It doesn't impact people. It doesn't convince people to subscribe. But if you watch my videos on a regular basis, if you come back and you watch them and you watch them and you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe because my ratios of viewers to subscribers needs to be improved for sure. So I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, thanks for coming and visiting me today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.